Today I'm going to show you how to add a gradient to a curve and how to animate these colors from the start until the end. So let's do it. We are going to delete everything and we are going to use a curve, a basic curve. So later, if we want, we can change the shape. Now let's go to geometry nodes and let's create a new profile. And I'm going to use, for example, an spiral. So I'm going to delete this. Let's connect it here and let's add some mesh. So let's use curve to mesh and let's use circle curve. Let's fill the gaps and let's make it smaller, something like this. Perfect. Now, in this tab, let's select shader so we can see the materials. Let's press N to hide this. Now, let's add set material here. But first, let's select the material view and let's add set material. Let's go to materials and let's create a new material. Let's call it gradient. And let's select this new material, gradient. Now, here, let's check if this works. So let's try to change the color. We can see that this is working, so perfect. But we want to use a gradient. So let's use here a color ramp to use a gradient. For example, let's select the first color and let's use, for example, blue. And the second color, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so I want to see this gradient here. What we are seeing now is the average of these colors. For example, if I change this color, you can see it's trying to get the mixed color between these two. So to get the gradient, what we have to do is to say to this, please, can you use this gradient from the start until the end? Now the question, how we can know what's the start and the end of a curve? Usually it's the factor of the spline. So how we can use, for example, a spline, spline parameter. Here we have the factor of this curve. So we need to say to this, use the factor. So to use this, we need to use a node called a store name attribute. There is another similar that is called capture attribute. It's basically the same. The only difference here, we can create a label to store any attribute. However, in this one, we need to send it to another place, for example, here. But now I want to use this one. So we want to get the factor. So you need to connect it here. So now this is getting the factor, is storing. But we need to write a label. So later we can use it here. So let's write something like factor. And really important, factor is a float, a number that goes from 0 to 1. So here we need to use float. We cannot use integer, vector, or whatever. Have to be float. Always here you need to select what you are using. Okay, now that we have the factor of the spiral, of the curve, we can use it here. How we use this here? You need to use attribute and connect it here. And here we have a box to write a label, to write something that we created. We created this. So now if we write the same word and I press control, now we have a gradient because this word is being connected with this word. So basically, this is getting the factor of the curve. So this understands what's the start and what's the end. That's the way to add a gradient to any curve. And now we can play with this. You can move this. You can invert the colors if you want, for example, Clicking here, flip color. Also, what you can do is to add more colors. You can make the colors really contrast, selecting here constant. And if you want to animate the colors, what you have to do, let's delete this color. It's for example, let's select this one white. And I want to animate, for example, the blue color. So I need to animate this to do this animation. So let's select this one. 
and go at the beginning. So more or less here. Let's select zero. Don't worry. Now we are going to change this. Actually, if you want, you can add 0 0.00001. So we see everything white. Okay. Now create a keyframe, insert keyframe. And now if you want to see the keyframes, remember to select this. Go, for example, whatever you want. And increase this to one and create a new keyframe. And now if we press play, we have this animation. So now you know how to animate curve with colors. If you don't want this velocity that goes slow, fast, slow, then select the keyframes and press T and select linear. By default, you have selected Bezier. But if you select linear, the velocity will be the same. And remember, we are using a Bezier curve. So if you want to get back the Bezier curve, Let's select group input, this one, so we can see again the Bezier curve. And now we can go to edit mode. I'm going to press Ctrl spacebar to make full screen. And now tap to go to edit. And I can delete this and draw whatever I want. So I can make my own shape. By the way, if you want to invert the direction, is to go here to segments and select switch direction. And now should go in the other direction. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new. You can give a like, subscribe, and if you want, you can donate this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.